Teaching and learning during the pandemic has been an uphill battle, especially difficult for special education students. We had to think of new inventive ways of getting the students engaged and actually online. Since the pandemic hit in March, Carrie Okula and the special education team at Divine Wisdom Catholic Academy have been working on overdrive. This learning lab, just one of the ways the school is trying to stay ahead of the curve and on top of students' needs. This is where they can get the extra help they need during this turbulent time. Every day it's, it's a challenge and every day brings new challenges. And across the country, parents are challenging different departments of education. Unlike the program at Divine Wisdom Catholic Academy, parents don't feel like the needs of their children with special needs are being met. Lawsuits have been popping up in multiple states, families in Hawaii. New York, Connecticut, Texas, and more allege mishandling of students' special education. And right here in New York City, parents of eight children have filed a federal lawsuit claiming the Department of Education has failed to fulfill their children's IEPs, a map that lays out a child's special education programming. These families say they were denied therapists, translators, and technology. They believe their child's progress has halted or in some cases regressed. And a recently released report from the New York City Department of Education shows tens of thousands of students with disabilities did not get their mandated services. On the other hand, here in Douglaston, Carrie and her team provide services for about 60 kids. They're not immune to the struggles of the pandemic, saying access to students and coordinating schedules were very difficult at first. But for Carrie, this isn't just a job, it's a calling. I was a one-on-one -on -one aide with a student um, that was nonverbal and has autism. So it was a very close relationship and from September to June, just seeing his interactions and him grow as a student, it was great. She says their goal at this time was to have good communication and be very accessible to their students. If we're not seeing them and they're going to regress, we're, we're going to see major deficits. So the students, as we continue to see them, their, their strengths are improving and their skills are improving. The principal calls their level of commitment remarkable. They make the time, whether it's during the school day or after school, to make sure that they are meeting with all their students and that the students are getting whatever services that they need. In Douglaston, Emily Drewby, Current News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.